If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. Your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on. Roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Um, um, it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. Kit said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? North Pole? That old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah, like this ward. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer out here. You think people actually live like this? What's... <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life.
Locked. Great. Ugh, we can't turn back now. We don't know where to go. There's gotta be another way through. about time what took you what happened to these poor bastards hey look at this Can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these guys. Hey, over here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. The hell's that? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. Uh, uh, dead one! Yes. Nice shooting. Hey, that don't count, by the way. Yeah, that's it. For now. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> All gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. How would a nest like this out here? You know, maybe best we head back. We 
Retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Okay, you're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo. Still got each other. <laughs> not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out.
would know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight. Bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. <sighs> Cass, ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to work. Oh. quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light.
idea. This is Riggler. Call me Riggs. I got you, darling. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Bo! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? Yeah, well, you'll be safe here for as long as you need, Traveler. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing out here. <laughs> Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Hey, you again. Did you have a question? Hey, I'm just glad we got to you, you know, when we did. Oh, uh, that was Wally. He... he gave us a heads up someone was coming, then Clementine was the one that found you. They... they got a kind of, uh, root sense, I guess. And we figured where there were root gatherings, someone was likely to be in trouble. <laughs> and there you were? No, no, that was... something else. Uh, Clementine, she... she's amazing, but she carries a lot on her own. I don't know what all she sees, but I... Uh, we worry about her, is all. <laughs> I guess... I, I used to guard the old ward some 20 years ago. I helped out here and there, you know, but... Before Commander Ford passed, she and the Founder, they kinda... put me in charge. Now, maybe no one else wanted the job, I don't know, but... The ward's the only family I've ever known. I'll do whatever it takes to keep these folks safe. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks. I don't know, I guess I just take care of myself, uh, eat right, get to sleep early, all that. Yeah, Commander Ford always said a leader can't care for anyone if they don't care for themselves. I'm just trying to live right. I reckon she learned it from the Founder. <laughs> He's been around for ages. Oh, he ain't much for leading himself. Huh? I couldn't say. Commander used to talk about him like he was dead and gone before I was born. You'd have to ask him yourself, I guess, but... He ain't like the rest of us. He's... He's seen a lot. Granddaughter, actually. Yeah, the, uh, The Founder wasn't around as much back in the day, but... Commander Ellen was like a mother to me. To all of us from the old ward. <sighs> it just doesn't seem right. I mean, that, that she's gone before he is? Yeah, but when our last hope fails, another must take its place. <laughs> she used to say that, too. Yeah, people here are friendly. <laughs> if you give them a chance, good luck. You don't talk much about life before the ward. What you did and all? Oh. It was a hard time, I guess. <sighs> I done some things I weren't proud of. I'm sure you did the best you could. We all did. Are you and your friend married? Do people even get married out there? What does getting married mean? Ma won't tell me yet, and I'm pretty sure Pa didn't tell me the really truth. Really gone for good? I don't know. 
But I don't think it matters. We've got to find joy where we can, while we can. Hey, you're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know you're lucky they found you when they did? You're She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. Like what? Listen, I don't care what you two are. I'm just saying, don't lose it, whatever it is. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. Knock yourself out. Anything, I'm here. Looking for Ford? He's over in the warehouse. I'm sure he's got something going on. Always does. So many new faces these days. Things must be getting a mite easier out there. Welcome, Traveler. I'm Reginald Malone, but my friends call me Reggie. You can too. Saw you come in with Bo and Clementine there. Or oh, you can be sure they'll do everything they can for your friend. Ain't the first to come through here needing help. Ooh, getting right to business. I respect that. Rest assured, old Reggie's got a cure, friend. Don't be a stranger. Ford? <laughs> Wish I had half the wherewithal of that old man. Doc yeah. Nora is the best. I bet she'll help your friends. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The site, you know? You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to.
makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Goodbye, traveler. <laughs>